What's up guys, we're on the fence here. Uh, it's been a few days since I've recorded, but uh, just letting you know that I'm hanging out with Jordan again today. I think I talked about this last time, but I'm going to her uh, ultimate frisbee game. And she's coming to pick me up at like 4 o'clock. And she's, she said she's on her way, but I don't, she's not here yet. She said that like 10 minutes ago, she's still not here, so. I totally forgot about it. I was working on my farewell talk, and I totally forgot that she was coming to get me, and I was still in my pajamas. My hair wasn't done. I was like, oh, frick. It's freaking 3.30, and I was still in my pajamas. Like, come on, man. I just barely got my farewell talk topic this morning, so I went down there and started working on it, and I'm probably, out, I'm probably already over halfway done. And let me just say this. I'm so glad that, I'm, that I've at least got over half of my talk done and over with it. I think it's, I think it's good. I thought that it was going to take me a long time. Like, I, thought, I thought it would take me a while to write, but it's actually not too bad, dude. I don't know why I always underestimate or overestimate my expectations, I guess. I shouldn't do that, because it just stresses me out and freaking whatever. Also, yesterday I went to mission prep with Jordan, and uh, that was a pretty good experience. Dude, my, my companion, my fake companion, he was doing so well. He was teaching, we were teaching a part of the plan of salvation, and his section that he had was our life on earth. And dude, oh my, he was nailing it, man. I can't believe how well he was doing. It was so good. That's exactly the type of companion that I want to have on my mission. Like that, that, he did so good, man. But now I'm hanging out with Jordan again today, so she's still not here. I don't know where... I, I had to hurry and get ready. I was like, oh crap, she's going to be here like any second. So I had to run, ran upstairs, got dressed, I had to hurry and do my hair, thinking that she was going to be here any second. But no, she has not even here yet, so... I'm going to film some of the her Ultimate Frisbee game. I don't know how... I don't know if I'm going to be sitting with her family or whatever, but... That, I don't, that, would, that wouldn't work if I was sitting with her family and I just randomly pulled out my iPod. Well, I don't, I mean, I'd already, I already started the, I'll, okay, I had this in my mind. I thought I, thought I was going to be, you know, I had in mind that I was going to be starting, like, doing the intro of the vlog. I'm, Sup guys, we're on the fence here. Like, I, I had the, the, you know, the image that I was going to be doing that. So I thought that I wouldn't be able to do that if I was going to be with her family. Pull out my iPod, be like, Sup guys, we're on the fence here. I'm at Jordan's game. And just, I'd be like, what the heck is this guy doing? Anyway. I'm gonna shut up now, so I will see you guys when I get there. six o'clock and it's 11 30 at night right now and uh just, just ending the vlog so but just letting you know that it was pretty fun you know she they actually won they won uh, i think it was like 13 to 7 or something i don't know but they won and they don't know they don't usually win their games but they won and they're going to they're starting their, their tournament on the 16th which is three days after i leave so i won't be able to make it but oh well uh at least I made it to her last game, so that's that's good to know. But like an hour and a half ago, I actually uh, was down, was on the computer, and I was finishing my talk, and I basically finished it. I I didn't I haven't timed myself yet, but it's at least six or seven minutes long at least, and it has to be, it has to be eight to ten minutes long. But I think I, I didn't think about this before until actually like just a couple minutes ago. I'm actually probably gonna put my favorite scripture at the at the end. Well, I don't know if that's my favorite scripture, but. It's a really good one that it like applies to missionary work, and I really love it. It's Alma chapter thirteen, verse twenty-seven through twenty-nine. That's that's just just that's a great scripture. If you if you have never read the Book of Mormon before, I suggest that you read it. Another good scripture is Moroni seven forty-eight. So if if you haven't read the Book of Mormon, I suggest reading those two scriptures, or you can just read the whole thing. You know that's probably even better. You know the Book of Mormon is the foundation of this church. We wouldn't be in a church organization without the Book of Mormon. I'll tell, I'll tell you that right now. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. So thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll go ahead and see you guys whenever I see you. Bye.